everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I made all of these tool holders, French cleat tool holders, using the same technique for all of them. With this style of French cleat, you can literally hang anything like that has a hole in it, like this, or this, you can hang this. And it's super simple to make, so let's get started. I'm first gonna start off measuring how long I want the face to be. So I'm gonna start making the paintbrushes now. I already made this one for my level. I'm gonna measure out the face to see how, how long I want it to be and how wide it, I want it to be. When you're measuring out the face of it, make sure that it's longer than your French cleat or else when you put it on, it'll just fall forward. So make sure that it at least goes further than your French cleat. Because this piece of wood is already this wide, I think I'm just gonna use this width. I don't think I want to waste that much wood and make it all the way to here, so, so I think I'm, I'll go to like around here. So that's my cut. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this now. And this plywood is actually the leftover half inch plywood that I used for the bottom shelf of my workbench. So this is gonna be my French cleat. It is already cut at a 45 degree angle. I have a whole bunch of these long strips from when I made my French cleat wall and I set them aside for this purpose. So that video is linked down below if you wanna see how I made these and how I made my whole French cleat wall. So all I need to do is cut the piece to size and I'm doing that using my jigsaw because it's way easier than using my table saw with such a long piece. Plus, it doesn't matter since it doesn't need to be a completely square cut since it'll be covered by the tool holder anyway. I got my pieces cut, so now I need to drill the holes. Oh, actually, I should cut the dowels first. So I'm going to make six dowels. I want to be able to hold two paintbrushes on each because I honestly have a lot of paintbrushes. I don't know where most of them are, so I'm going to leave extra slots and in case I ever get more. I'm going to give it a little bit extra length. So now that I know how long I want the dowels to extend, I'm using my handsaw to just cut them all to length. Now I'm going to I'm going to make sure that they're level and that they're evenly spaced. Just going to do some math real quick. Got my straight line. 14 and 3 quarters divided by 7 because there's 7 sections equals 2.11 inches. So I'm marking every 2.11 inches along that line where I'm going to drill the hole for my dowels to go. I got where I'm going to drill my holes. Now I'm going to just start drilling. And this is just a piece of melamine that I put up here when I drill holes. So if I go too far, I drill through this instead of my workbench. This would be easier if I had a drill press just to get it really straight but I don't have a drill press, so I'm just gonna really try and make sure I go in and at a straight angle. Using a rough piece of sandpaper, I kind of just like scrape away the random wood chips that are sticking up so then the dowel can go in easily. And then I do the same thing with the dowels themselves. There's little pieces of wood sticking out so i just go in with a really rough piece of sandpaper and clean them up a bit they're not perfect but i just get them cleaned up to where they can fit in the hole okay and then i'll make them perfect when i sand the entire thing so now we get to glue let me know if you guys have a solution for wood glue and keeping it clean i guess or making it so it's easy to open again like this bottle i have not been able to open in like a week or maybe longer so let me know if you guys have any solutions or any like different bottles that you guys use because i am struggling i waste so much of my life trying to pick this glue off it's very annoying <laughs> but anyway so I filled the holes with wood glue and put wood glue on the dowels themselves also and then just hammered them all into place. 
So now I'm moving on to attaching the French cleats to the back. I'm using wood glue and screws to attach them. So I put the glue on, clamp it in place, drill holes, countersink the holes, and then add in my screws. And I'm using one and one inch screws. And make sure that when you're attaching the French cleats, you're attaching them straight with the tool holder or else it will lay crooked on your wall. In everything I did with this tool holder, I did the exact same thing with all the other ones. Yay, and I am all done. So I just, I'm gonna let these dry and then I'll be able to use them. I am done with my French cleats. I think they look really good. They were actually super easy to make and they look really good on my wall. I can't decide if I'm gonna paint all of them blue to match the background or if I'm just gonna keep the wood color. Like, do you guys like the wood color or should I make it blend in with the background so you can really see the tools pop? I guess the comment down below. Yeah, I can't decide. As I'm doing more and more of these, ooh, as I'm getting more stuff on the wall and off of my workspaces, my garage is getting so much cleaner. I have a long way to go, but I am very excited. My shop is gonna be so much more organized. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.